In this video, we will cover how to handle those decision-making questions in which you are asked who out of two individuals complete a task more efficiently, or sometimes just who should be chosen to complete the task. These questions can be quite confusing at first until you realise that essentially the UCAT is just asking you to calculate which of the two individuals has the greatest net output. Over the next few minutes, our objectives are to clarify how to answer such decision-making questions and give you pointers to help with speed and accuracy. To illustrate what we mean, it is probably best to comprehensively examine one question of this type. If you like, have a go at the question first, giving yourself no more than one minute to answer it correctly. If the soldering described is representative of their capabilities, is Mario or the industrial robot more efficient at soldering circuits? A. Mario because the industrial robot made more mistakes while soldering. B. Mario because he can produce more correctly soldered circuits per hour. C. The industrial robot because it has a lower rate of incomplete soldering. D the industrial robot because it can produce more correctly soldered circuits per hour. That was quite tricky, right? The fourth and final option, D, is the correct one. Before we explain why, let's go through the underlying principles. The first obstacle you must overcome is the language of these questions. How exactly does a UK cat expect us to calculate efficiency? Simply put, you must calculate who, in this example, has the faster rate of creating usable soldered circuits. To do this, you must subtract the mistakes, the duds, the failures. We would subtract the unusable circuits from the totals of each of the two workers. The next challenge is to make the rates you are given comparable. Find the net output for each worker in the same amount of time. This will allow you to easily compare the efficiency of each worker and decide who is better at the task. Let's apply these principles to this example. First, the industrial robot. It can solder 75 circuits in an hour, but 20% of those circuits are failures. 20% of 75 is 15. So we subtract 15 from 75. This gives 60 usable circuits per hour. Next, Mario. Will the human be able to compete? Let's find out. He can solder 21 circuits in 18 minutes, but six of them are failures. They are unusable. Subtract 6 from 21 to get 15. 15 circuits in 18 minutes. So, you might notice already that this is less per minute than the robot. But to clarify this, we can divide both numbers by 3. Mario can solder 15 circuits in 18 minutes, or 5 circuits in 6 minutes. Multiplying by 10 to get to the same time period as the robot, we get 50 circuits in 60 minutes, which is an hour. Therefore, the robot, who can solder 60 good circuits in an hour, is more efficient and better suited to the task. Finally, we must be careful to pick the answer that states our conclusion correctly. Option C might seem tempting because it is true, the industrial robot is more efficient than Mario, and the robot does indeed have a lower rate of incomplete soldering. But that is not a full explanation of why the robot is more efficient. This answer only focuses on the failed circuits and it doesn't bring in time or rate of successful soldering. We cannot only focus on which worker makes fewer mistakes or which makes more circuits in total. We must instead focus on the net output calculated by finding the total output minus the failures over the time taken. The correct answer, D, 
focuses on the net output of correctly soldered circuits expressed as a rate. It is best to be prepared for the unusual question types and we hope this video has clarified a common confusion and helped you to improve the rate at which you correctly solve decision making questions. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.